Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans. What we do around here, what we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. We continue to do that as often as we can. We've got over 1,200 of these available for your listening pleasure. We're going to do a three-part series on signs of attraction. Uh, if you are new and or you're looking to kind of level up your dating life in 2022 and beyond, would love to be of assistance to you in that way, continue to be connected to you in a positive directive and um, uh, make that happen. So there's a couple of things to look at here. You can reach out through at PO Perception on Twitter and or in the About Me section of the YouTube page. Either way, we'll get you in touch with me or a member of my team, make something happen for you. In a positive direction so signs of attraction um, and this is kind of uh, the first is eye contact so eye contact is a sign of interest when a person is obviously not staring at you constantly because that would be creepy but at the end of the day they're they're kind of looking at you and, and trying to make a connection on an emotional level eye contact is one way to do that um, mimicking your voice mimicking your word choices mimicking your body language the act of the mimic is also a sign of comfort level. So basically, if I like you, I want to be like you is the simplest way to think of it. And so if you find someone who is doing the things you're doing, using the tone or cadence of speech or talking about the things that matter to you, chances are there may be some level of attraction there. The next is uh, physical contact, physical touch. This could be something as intimate as a caress, but also it could be something as simple as just a pat on the shoulder or trying to sit close enough to you that your bodies could touch throughout the um, process of getting to know each other, for lack of a better term. Um, that can be super kind of confusing for some people because of the nature of things. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing per se, but at the same time, it can be overwhelming if you don't really know a levels a person's level of uh, interest and you are more introverted than extroverted. Introverts obviously have, can have difficulty in understanding the nonverbal cueing that comes with confused, messy, or difficult relational interactives doesn't mean it has to be that way but it often can become that way without people meaning for it to the next thing to look at here is kind of looking at the process of kind of balancing things out in a different way and that is you know uh, looking at a person's uh amount the amount of time they put into the relationship so obviously time is a great indicator and it's a simple one because obviously if the person wants to spend a good deal of time with you it means they have an interest in you somewhere and so the more time a person spends with you unless they have denoted that there is no physical attraction at least thinking that there could be one is possible they're going to spend more time as well on how they look how they present and coming up with things to talk about with you so that conversation is super important in the sense of trying to identify um, what a person wants out of a connection. So if they're constantly willing to bring up topics that matter to you or constantly willing to connect with topics that are comfortable for you, for lack of a better term, that can be helpful in understanding a person's intention. Obviously, we want to communicate clearly, concisely, and to the point about what our intentions are for a person but sometimes that's easier said than done especially if a person is shy so attraction can be one of those things where having some coaching can be helpful because how do i become more attractive to the type of person that i'm trying to attract also and and um how do i know if if i receive what i would consider enough investment a lot of time people under invest in the uh, later stages or the, the you know, um, potential later stages of a relationship in any event would continue to be of help to you. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.